uh, Japanese fighter attacks. The only serious one we had was uh, on my nose one day. We're flying a formation and there's two Japanese fighters out here in front of us and they're tracking us all the way in. What they're doing is radioing our heading and, and altitude for the uh, any aircraft fire. They're fire. And all of a sudden they pull way out in front of us, turn and head straight into us. Well, two fighters come straight into us and well, who do they pick on? Little old small. Uh, he was so close I could see the bandana around his head, the whole shtick, you know. And all of a sudden I see his wings blinking. And I turn my guns on him, all six firing away. I don't know whether I hit him, whether he hit me, but he, and you know, it's, it all happens in a matter of seconds. He flew right through our formation. He flew right under me and kept on going. And we kept on going. But uh, that's how the fighters work. Then one time we were assembling, uh, like I said, over outside of Japan, and two Japanese fighters again got up at the top of the circle and dove down through it. They didn't fire a shot. But all these 29s in a circle are shooting at him. What happens when you shoot across a circle? <laughs> yeah. the, our planes got back the, the, the next day loaded with 50 caliber bullets in them. The Japanese didn't have a 50 caliber. Yeah. They threatened to take away our guns. <laughs> <laughs> We're shooting on our own airplanes. Right. <clears throat>